and hello YouTube, this is JS Man of Smart, and I'm going to a brand new video for Tutorials JS. In today's tutorial, we're here on Adobe After Effects, and I want to show you guys how to create a realistic looking camera shake effect. But you'll see how, how it looks. We're going to go through it. It's a very easy thing to do. If you're a beginner in After Effects, you'll be exposed to expressions, which are also very useful and can make manual keyframing a lot easier because it will randomly generate for you. So I'm going to go ahead and play this little piece of footage right here that we have. This is the uh, footage we're going to be using. It's just me walking in front of my green screen and acting like I'm about to fall. So here it is. Uh, camera's focusing in a bit here. I'm looking around. And here's where we'll start the effect. Where I'm almost falling. I'm trying to keep balance. Camera will stop shaking here. And we walk off. So the way you would usually do this and the way you can do this is by keyframing your position. So we're going to press the down arrow right here and press the down arrow on transform. And what you can actually do is change the position of this. You can keyframe, say here, I want it to be there. Then say, actually want it to be over here. So say we wanted to start shaking right around here, right? We can start to move the position. Every little small keyframe, we can change the position value, right? We can do that, but that's going to take a really long time and we don't want to do that. So instead, we're going to use an expression which automatically does this for us. We don't need to manually keyframe this. So the way you're going to do this is you're going to hold down the Alt key and then click the little stopwatch here as you would regularly keyframe on position. And you'll get this little box here which allows you to type in expressions. Now what you're going to type in is W I G G L E. E, wiggle with open parentheses and let's put 10 comma 100 close parentheses and semicolon now what this expression is saying is it's calling the method wiggle and in this case wiggle is just moving the screen around using the position and what the first number means 10 which means we want it to happen 10 times per second so if you're running 30 frames per second, that means it'd be happening every three frames. If you're running 30, 60 frames per second, it will happen every six frames. The position will change. But it basically means I want 10 changes to occur within a second. So 10 different uh, position movements. And the second value is by how large do you want these position changes to be? Do you want it to be by 100 pixels, by 50 pixels? We're going to pick 100. And you press enter, well, you don't, you don't want to press enter, you don't need to press enter, just press somewhere else. And you'll see that if it worked, uh, you'll see that your pre-render will have your, um, your RAM preview of this, your RAM preview of the video will have gone away. And you have to uh, re redo the, the RAM preview. So I'm just going to RAM preview a little bit of this so you see what's happening. Okay, so there we go, we have, we have some of it RAM previewed. So as you see, what's happening is the footage is being shaken around a little bit, right? And that's basically what a, what a camera shake effect does. Now, what we, what we want to do is want to keyframe this function here. We want to keyframe this function so that it happens at one point and stops at another point. And we want it to decrease in, in amount from you know, being very slow at first to increasing and slowing down a bit more. Now, unfortunately, you can't do this with functions. But what you can do is use a function expression slider in your effects panel here, which allows you to do that. So go to effects panel right here and just go ahead and type in slider. And you should see the expression controls slider control. Just go ahead and drag that onto your video layer right here. So once you have the effect dragged onto your video here, you can press the down arrow here on effects. And you'll see a slider control is right here. And this one also has keyframe ability. So what we're going to do is go down to our wiggle expression here. And what you're going to do is just erase the 100 that you have there so it's going to be wiggle 10 comma nothing close parentheses and the semicolon and then go ahead and grab this little icon right here that allows you to link things together and then connect it with the slider here and what you'll see is that it ends up doing the same thing through the through the effect now, be careful that you don't do exactly what I did, because I noticed it's very it's very finicky. If you don't do exactly like if you end up clicking outside somewhere before you connect the things up, then it ends up being weird. 
So just do what I did, which is erase the 100. Don't click anywhere. Immediately after you erased it, leave a space after the comma. Click on the icon and connect the two things. Uh, because I tried to do it another way and it got really finicky about it. So now what we can do is we can actually keyframe our slider here because our slider will be the second parameter here. As you see, what this is basically telling us is that we wanna use the wiggle function, right? We wanna use uh, 10 times per second, but how do we, where, where are we getting the amount of pixels we want? We, what we wanna get the amount of pixels from our slider, and this is our slider. So we can actually keyframe our slider, which will then drop in the values into the second parameter here. So it's a really cool little way to do this. So what we're gonna do is, Say we want to start, well, where do we want it to start to wiggle? We want it to start to wiggle right around a little bit over here, maybe. If I actually ran preview this, we can get a better picture. One second. Okay, so I have this little bit right here, ram previewed. So here we're coming onto, onto the set, onto the green screen, looking around. And let's say we want it to start to shake right around here, right? So here we're gonna click our slider keyframe. We want it to be at zero, right? Here we want it to be at zero. And we are right now at 511 on the timer. So let's say a second later at 611, we want it, we, we want it to be at maximum wiggle strength, basically. This is actually 311, not, four, not 511. So we were at 311 here, and now we're gonna 411 and here we want it to be, let's say, at 100, right? And then we want it to stay wiggling like that until we get to about, where do we want it to stop shaking so much? Maybe like right around here, where we'll go ahead, the way I like to do this, I usually just, to get like an extra keyframe here, I just like to increase this by 101 and then just change it back to 100. That way we get that same second keyframe with the same value. Because what I wanna do is slowly make it descend. So let's say it stops wiggling right about here and we'll make this at zero. So then what we have, if we ram preview this, we can see how it looks, just give me a second. All right, so we have a RAM preview, so let's go ahead and take a look at this. Now, the problem with this is that you see we have these black bars. It doesn't look very realistic because we have black bars here. So what you can actually do, uh, the easiest way to fix this problem is just to grab the end of your video file here, hold down the shift button, and just scale it up some. And then when you, when you preview this again, you'll see that that problem is completely eliminated. All right, so here we go. I've basically scaled it up a bit and we can see now all of our black borders are gone. Now, if you're zoomed in too much, what you can actually also do is uh, change your, because the reason why we're getting so many black bars is because our, our value is so high at 100. If you want, you can actually change these values to be lower. Instead of 100, we can actually make this be something like, uh, let's say 40, right? And you'll actually get a less violent of a, of a wiggle, I guess. <laughs> Less violence, it's a weird word to use. And uh, you'll be able to scale this back down a bit. Because remember, the second value is how many pixels you're moving it by. If you have a very large pixel value, you're gonna be moving it a lot compared to if you use a smaller pixel value, you're not gonna be moving it that much. As you see, if we use a smaller value here, it actually stays in the shot and it won't really wiggle out that much. Now, one thing you will notice also is that it does go a bit fast. The shaking goes a bit fast. So if you wanna have more of a slower shake, you can also, uh, you can also keyframe the, you can also keyframe the, uh, the first value here with another slider. It works, it works very similar to the same, but I think for the purpose of this tutorial, uh, this is fine right now. We get a nice little shake and it slows down here. It looks really cool. Now, one thing that you can make this look a lot more realistic, because right now it just looks like we have, we have a shake, but there's not real, there's not much, and this is happening because I have so many things open right now. I have a, I'm importing some videos from my vlogging channel and I'm rendering something. So what we can actually do is add some motion blur because motion blur 
actually makes this look a lot better because when you're shaking your camera you get a lot of motion blurs it looks very blurry when your camera shaking so we want to add that so how do you add that uh, you want to have these buttons right here if you don't see these buttons make sure you click toggle switches down here because if you don't have uh these buttons right here and you have this you won't be able to select so make sure you click toggle switches down here and motion blur is this icon right here just go and make a tick here and then also you have to activate motion blur on your composition so right here make sure you have both of these like that and now if we're to play this one more time all right so here we have added motion blur and it makes it look a lot more realistic because otherwise you have a really clear picture while it's shaking and that's not really how <laughs> camera shaking works so that's pretty much how the uh, tutorial goes i'm just gonna go ahead and let this uh ram preview one last time so we see the final product and a very, very easy tutorial, very easy to do, especially if you're an After Effects beginner. This sort of teaches you about expressions. It sort of teaches you how to keyframe and make this really realistic effect. You can obviously add some audio to it, like an earthquake sound. You can do all kinds of creative things to make this really your own. But I think this pretty much covers the, the, the general uh, technique on how to do this. The, the, slider, the slider control expression is a really cool effect and allows you to uh, edit expressions. If you want a full list of expressions, you can Google them. There are several other expressions also that can uh, help you keyframe things without having to manually do it. Because ha having to manually, you could manually do the shake as well, but it'll take a lot of time and you'll actually be very precise with it and you have to mess around with the keyframes a bit. So expressions are always good to have to sort of speed things up. So here's our finished product of the camera shake effect. Be aware this is also in a half resolution. So if you want to. You obviously want to render this in full resolution so you can see a much better picture of it. But it looks really nice. I really like how it came out. And uh, yeah, pretty much, pretty much it for this tutorial. If you have any questions or comments, leave in the comment section below. I'll be down there answering any questions you have. Plenty of other software tutorials on the channel if you're interested in After Effects, Photoshop, Premiere Pro. Lots of tutorials on the channel for you to enjoy. And uh, I also have other channels such as a vlogging channel, a gaming channel, an advice channel, a music channel. Everything will be on the end card if you want to check the end card out. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching as always. And this is GS Man Smart, and I'll be back sooner than you think. Don't go anywhere.